Hi, I'm Thelma of Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be doing several Christmas DIYs, but I want to take a moment and update you on the giveaway contest that I have going on. If you're new and um, want are interested in it, just read the descriptions. I'll add more to it, but each week I add some items in a box to the giveaway contest and once I reach a certain um, amount of subscribers and uh, more of the information will be down in the description box but if you have any questions just drop me a comment I'll be more than happy to answer as, as best as I can so without further ado let's get to crafting okay okay our first project is this cute little gingerbread it's it comes from the Dollar Tree and all it is is a dry wood sign DIY wood sign and it has the green for crafter square it says but it means it's for Christmas I went ahead and took the tag and the little jute rope off now you will need some paint I'm painting it brown with uh, I'm going to mix brown and let's see apple barrel outdoor indoor gloss real brown and it dries quickly and this territorial beige just and some white I'm just gonna mix it into one little circle here just you don't need it a lot And you, I'm going to be using a small paintbrush. And if you don't want, if you want to just use um, real brown or light brown, you can use whatever color you want on this because it's it's yours. Well, I'm trying to get that white to come out, but it don't want to. There. I'm wanting to... Uh, it's too dark for the color that I want my gingerbread to be. So that's why I'm toning it down a bit and trying to come up with a different light color. And if not, if that, see how you don't need a lot of that brown? But just keep mixing and if you don't get the color you want I'm going to add some more uh, brown to it because it got it just a little bit too light of a color now if you're using the brush you mix these colors up with just take a paper towel and get all the excess off because you really don't need all that. Okay, um, you can just start anywhere you want. And that's a nice little light brown. I like this color. And I couldn't find mine. I guess I used it all. You can use some of that um, spackling, like for when you're doing your walls or something, and or anything, um, the wood uh, putty or anything to fill in that little hole there. Or you or you can leave it and put the hanger back on it and hang it. And be very careful when you're around the other pieces, like this bow here. Try not to get it on it. And I'm using one of these... Um, this kind of paintbrush, there it is. And 
and if you do get your paint on it, you can easily, uh, you know, cover it up, get some sandpaper too, and just sand it down. I'll show you how to do that when I get finished here. But that's all you do. You just keep painting around and fill in the hole. Just leave these pieces here, the bow and the little wrist and feet uh, things. Leave them uh, and don't paint them because we're going to paint them white. Okay, once you have two coats uh, painted on the gingerbread, let's go ahead and get some white. Don't need a lot. Just a little bit should do it because you're only doing these small. And you didn't need to use as much as I showed you on the brown because that's how much I have left over. Now if you want it um, because the wood does absorb the paint, make sure you put two thick coats on and then let it dry once you get the white painted on it. And you can do any color again like I said. Um, I'm just doing the traditional white. And you can even use a uh, beige as your uh, instead of the brown to paint your gingerbread with. Um, and go ahead and do that. Leave the buttons alone unless you want to paint them a different color like black or something. And I'm going to paint all these and then once I get finished I'm going to go start back at the bow tie and put another coat on. And then we'll set it aside and let it dry while we're working on something else. This doesn't take long at all to do. And again, if you make any small mistakes, you can always touch up or you can leave it. Make it unique. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know mine's not. <laughs> okay, now I'm going back over for the second coat just to make it real good and thick. Make sure you get it all to the corners and the edges there. Let me know in the, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what color you're painting your gingerbread. Or if you already painted one for the season, um, let me know what colors you use. Because you can really paint them any color. And then Let's just set this aside and let it dry while we get ready to do our next project. Okay, for our next project, we're going to make a poinsettia flower arrangement. I bought this box at Dollar General about two last year, and it was a dollar fifty. But any gift box that's a medium or large, I do stick one of these down in it after you put a fair amount of glue on the bottom just make sure it's even down in there and push now I have the poinsettia flowers I have the small ones I have two of the white and two of the red 
just take the tags off. Now these came from the Dollar Tree and the Red Picks, the berries and stuff, those came from Walmart. So let's just stick this down in there, go all the way down. Let me bring this up some so you can see. And go ahead and put the white the white ones in and then we'll put the red ones in. You can use any color of poinsettias that you want. I noticed at the Dollar Tree they have like rose ones and purple, some blue ones. But you can use whatever you want as your decor. Let's just fluff these out. Let's go ahead and get the red ones in. Just go ahead and fluff them and Make sure you mix the red with the white. Let's do the other one. Put it over on the other side and fluff them. Now your picks, I have this gold one that I'm going to put in along the outside right there. And then I have a silver one. I'm just going to put it on the other side. Then we have, I'm going to get some plain branches. red poinsettia glitter. Now these picks were, I think, 98 or 99 cents per each one. There you go. Now I get, I have the swirly one. If I can get it unhooked from the berries, there we go. It's got a little uh, clip on it. What I'm going to do, take it down in there and clip it at the very bottom onto the other stem. And then just arrange it. Now we have some berries and vines. See how this looks right in the center. There we go. It's coming along nicely. And then I have one, a pine cone, berries, and a bell. I'm just going around until I see a spot that needs it, and just once it starts getting fluff, fluffy and full, then you're done. You might not even have to use as many as I'm using. It depends on the type of picks that you buy and the flowers. And I have this one with some berries. I'm going to go down in the center. I'm going to take that one out. I don't like it. But here's the berries. It squashed my berries, so I'm just refluffing them. Now we have some more berries. 
these. Let's put them down in here on the other side. Let me check it. Once it gets full, then it's finished. And there's that one. I'm thinking of putting um, a snowman, one of these ornaments, in it. If we just figure out which end you want as your front. And we're not putting it in it. We're going to glue it to the side of the box. So just put you a fair amount of glue. And make sure you get the flowers out of the way. So it'll go flush against the box. And just hold it there for a few seconds. Now I have some candy canes. I've got two. They come in a pack of six at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put one back here. Okay, you got to watch where you put them because you want them to drape over of the flower to let it hold it up. There we go. There's that. Now I have some lights. They have little candy canes on them. And I got these at Walmart a few years ago. They still have little lights like this. And you stuff this in somewhere where you can reach it in the back. Now drape it around and just start looping it around. And kind of try to hide the cord. And now it's finished. I don't know if you can see the lights on it real good, but that's what it looks like. Let me turn it off. There. Okay, for our next DIY, you will need one of these little shadow boxes. Mine had a leaf in it that was raised up. Um for fall and you will need some snow um, some snow and um, measure it first get as many layers as you're wanting to make it thickness and lay it over it go ahead and cut a little bit bigger than it is and mine's just doubled over twice Now what you'll want to do, first let's go ahead and paint the Santa to um, get him so he'll be drying. And I have Flag Red from Apple Barrel. I'm just painting the whole thing red 
you can go into detail if you want, but I just want the silhouette of it being, <clears throat> excuse me, red. And then we'll set that aside and let it dry. It's this quick dried paint too, so it dries real fast. Now take your snow here, put it down in there like that, that way you know you have enough space on each end. Now get you some glue, put down in there. You can use Mod Podge too if you want. And you can use paper, um, craft paper, anything. You can, like I said, paint it. Um, it really doesn't matter what you do. Now, go ahead and take this. Put some paint, I mean some glue in there. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Now let's go ahead and trim the edges. Take your time, make sure you've got a nice even cut. Now, um, push it down in there. Make sure you have this on top. Now I have two little trees from a village set. You can get them from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, anywhere. You want to, um, Figure out which one you want to put in here. Because you're going to have your Santa right there. And I'm going to go with this one. So what you need to do is get you some glue. And on the bottom, glue it in there. You see any of this trim it, any of the snow um, coming out, just trim it. Now get you some glue on the Santa. Put him where you want him. And this is it. This is our last DIY. I hope you like it. In the comments, uh, let me know which one's your favorite. And I want to thank you all for stopping by and checking out my channel. And I want to take this time to let you to show you what I have to put in the giveaway contest. This is Hydrate and Facial Gel Cleanser Watermelon and Sweet Mint. 
and this is the facial tone watermelon and alloy so thank you all for stopping by and checking out my video until next time bye